Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's video I'd like to use the MTP RT add-ons for NinjaTrader 7, which is what you can see here, to have a quick look at how the USE minis unfolded yesterday, which was uh, May the 1st. Um, so let's start with the 3 minute chart of the ES. As you can see, there were no automatic setups on the ES yesterday, so it was a very, very quiet uh, uh, day yesterday. Let's skip through and have a look at the YM. On the YM, we actually had an automatic TS3 buy setup here. The STF was black, which means that uh, newer traders or um, standard traders could take this uh, trade setup. So let's place the analysis on, which is easy, by right mouse click over the blue buy bar click on analysis and here's our analysis placed on. Remember we use correct position sizing to vary the number of lots, contracts or shares to keep our initial risks small and under control. In this example uh, less than 2% of a sample 20,000 US dollar account. Now this is a good example to start with because this would have taken you into a long trade. It would have come up and then gone down and would have stopped you out. So yes this would have been a losing trade and I believe it's important for people to show losing trades in their examples because losing trades are important because we all know that any trading system or approach always has losses but the important thing is keeping the losses small and this is what correct position sizing does in other words we keep uh, the risk or the loss down to what we call a minus one R or one risk unit so for standard traders this would have been a losing trade I'll, I'll come on in a minute and have a look at how the advanced traders would have uh, viewed this by looking at the large degree trend not based on our STF indicator but on the 15 minute or larger degree charts. So let's now have a look at the NQ. On the NQ here the STF was black throughout this period. There was nothing, no trades here as you can see. However there was a DP buy here but for standard traders this was against a red STF. <coughs> So standard traders would not have been taking this one. But again, let's have a look at, um, in a minute I'll be having a look at what the advanced traders would have uh, uh, viewed this. In fact, let's do that now. So for standard traders, we use the STF color, uh, black for flat, blue for a buy, red for down. But for advanced traders, we go to the 15 minute chart, in other words, the larger degree chart. Now I just want to put a bit of uh, space on the right hand side here. Uh, where are we? There we go. So I want to go back to before the market even got down to this level here yesterday. Now what we do is on the larger degree charts we place our DP levels on. These are decision point levels and these are areas where markets are likely to find support or resistance. But the important thing is they are placed on the chart in advance. So if I right mouse click, come down to decision point, you can see that this is on the chart out there in advance ready before the market even gets there. And that's the important thing is they are there leading the market. If I go forward, you can see at this particular point in time, or this low here, the market came in and actually found support at that level. I mean, later on it did rally and then go down, but the point being is that at this particular area here, we were finding support. I'll just put a little rectangle around this, so when we go down to the uh, shorter time frame charts, we can see how that looks. So there we go, just uh, reiterate, this support zone was on the charts before the market even got there. So as the market came down to this level here, you knew you were at 15 minute support. Let's now go down to the 3 minute chart and see what that looks like. Well, can you see uh, uh, the difference it makes now? Because rather than the trend being down, as indicated by the SDF indicator, which is like any indicator is lagging, we now know at this particular point where we had an automatic uh, DP buy setup on this three minute chart that was actually at this 15 minute resistance, sorry, support area. Now because it was at larger degree support, that means that the market was likely to make a rally off this level, therefore this uh, trade was a good trade to take. But the important point is that you were actually ready for this area before the market even got there. So let's place the analysis on and there was the trade set up. Remember we vary our lots, number of lots, contracts or shares to keep our initial risk small under control and in this case this would have been a nice long trade up into the first target there because our STF was what we call weak, less than our grey band here therefore the profit would have been a very nice plus 2.6R. 
And this shows a great example of position sizing because the loss we had on the YM was only minus 1R and this profit is plus 2.6R or 2.6 times greater than the initial risk or the losses. And that's the important point of position sizing and why it uh, is used uh, by MT Predictor to keep our profits large and our losses small. <coughs> If I just clear this off um, as a PS for advanced trades as well, one other uh, place that I like to uh, consider DP trades that are against the STF color is when we have the end of a five wave sequence. So if I right mouse, mouse click over that low, then do Elliott Wave Intermediate, can you see how this was found as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So not only was this low at 15 minute support, but it was also the end of a five wave sequence as well. So both these things were combining to tell me that this automatic DP buy setup here was actually a good trade to take. And there we go, the result was a nice plus 2.6R profit. If we now go back to the YM, tra uh, YM trade, which was uh, back here, let's now have a look at this uh, with advanced eyes on the 15 minute chart. So here's our 15 minute chart. Just take that off. Right, on the 15 minute chart, uh, there was our first whoops, decision point resistance up there which, which caught that high. The next DP uh, support would have been on this low and we would have been well beyond, uh, beyond that through that there because at this point here was where our um, three minute buy setup was uh, coming in. So I want to just show you that when you come back to the next pivot or the prior pivot low which is down here, if I right mouse click put the decision point on, you can see it's right the way down here and this is actually where the market or this decline actually stopped before we had an initial uh, a little rally off there. So I just want to put the um, rectangle again around this. This is a good way to actually transfer DP levels between uh, time frames in NinjaTrader. So there's our rectangle there. So if we now go to the three minute chart, I want to see how this looks. Well here was our support level. So can you see now how this particular buy setup uh, was not um, coming off good support. In fact, the, the market was actually, if I go back again, I'll just do that a little bit easier. I want to put a rectangle around this small one here as well. That isn't quite there. There we go there. Now if I come down to the three minute chart, can you see how at this particular point in time the YM was declining from this 15 minute support down into this 15 minute support. So actually the larger degree trend was actually down during this period. Therefore advanced traders would have been very wary about taking this long trade. If they had have done as normal I suggest that you actually bring your stop to break even quicker so therefore it would have been stopped out for a uh, break even trade. So that's a little um, tip there for advanced traders how they could have avoided this otherwise losing trade by using the larger degree trend on the 15 minute chart. But the main uh, example I want to look at today was back on the NQ and how this DP buy here was a really good trade setup to take because it was first and foremost at 15 minute resistance and also the end of a five wave a sequence as well. So this was a very good trade to take and a good example of multiple tool sets in MT Predictor all coming together to tell you the same thing to identify a very nice trade that had a good profitable result. As a PS to this video, for those of you who use NinjaTrader, you also have the option uh, for a small additional fee of actually um, having our trade module, which is what we've got on this button here. So if I click on this, uh, I'll show you what this does. In fact, actually, I'll take the analysis off to start with. What this does is when you have a automatic trade setup coming in or even a manual trade setup based on our uh, manual risk reward, is when you place the analysis on, what it does is take all your uh, levels, your number of contracts, your targets and all this lot and place them into our trade module. Now this is really cool because with one easy button you can just press execute and it allows you to place the trades uh, automatically for you or uh, very very quickly for you so you can place this trade straight away. So it just means um, that you can actually place your MT predictor trades really quickly as well. There are also some advanced um, trade management strategies here that can automatically, uh, when you get to break even, 
bring your stop or 100% initial risk level, bring your stop to break even, or it can calculate whether the STF is strong or weak, and then take profits either at your target or trail with your ATR stop, or there's some manual tools in the middle here to then uh, manage your trade as it's going with you. So in the NinjaTrader add-on, for those of you who wish to purchase this uh, additional uh, module here, it is really quite cool because it does make placing your trades really uh, quick and easy as well. It doesn't only work on the ma uh, automatic trades, you can place any um, manual risk reward analysis you wish using our risk reward tool however you wish and again this uh, allows you to place those uh, uh, those uh, trades uh, very very quickly either by clicking on the execute button or right mouse click and execute trade. Just makes it very very quick and very very easy to actually place your trades once you place your analysis on your chart.